Hi everybody. Well, that bright area behind me, that would be sunshine. And today it's sunny and it's a little bit cloudy, but I've had all the windows open all day and I was able to spring clean everything, all the windows, clean the windows, vacuumed, clean the bathroom real good, getting the house all tidy, reorganized all the craft stuff, crafting. However, we got to roll out of here early, early, early Tuesday morning to head to Portland to get the results from all the contrasting and testing and things. And so I'm really, really looking forward to getting the results to everything. And so, um, I just, it's been a really productive, awesome day trying not to be stagnant, sluggish, and keep in motion. But I am really been obsessing building little things and that's a very stationary activity and I'm kind of stoked the in the mystery craft bin there was some prisms and it was the day after I was talking to a lady about making sun catchers maybe and it's kind of interesting I don't know but I really like building these little tiny structures anyway there was a Bling, prism in there. And let me see if I can grab this without destroying everything. <laughs> it's very possible. Maybe not. Uh, no, not like that. Okay, like that. So anyway, jump. So, in the roof, up here at the top, I wanted to have the roof on. Anyway, up at the top, there's going to be a little bling bling. Anyway, optimistic about that. Just thinks it'll be pretty cool. So I was excited to find the prisms. And I think it'll look cool in the peak. I hope so anyway. I spent hours cleaning and organizing this house today. And we are ready to roll on Tuesday morning. We're going to leave really early. And... We're going to go, um, oh, those go in the stick box. We're going to go and just park on the side of the road at the doctor's place. There's no really RV parking or anywhere convenient to do it, which is fine. Um, Brian scoped it all out while we were there, and there's plenty of spots that we could, because we'll be leaving with our travel trailer when we leave. So we'll have... Uh, he scoped out a ton of spots for us to slide in. I'm gonna be. I gotta meet with a dietitian. That should be fun. I can only imagine how that's gonna go if I decide to be honest. <laughs> Maybe I'll just lie and make the whole thing easier. <laughs> she don't want to know the truth. I'm sure of it. And so um, we all know by no better as well. But um, I am curious if this vitamin D supplement has been making a difference because the sunshine's been out a little bit so that's good and I guess that's pretty much all that's going on we did some deep cleaning spring cleaning today house feels fantastic um, beds made wash the windows what do you need Brian maintenance all the things cooked some uh, of the fish that he caught out on the ocean the Umatia and he fried up his fish, and I had leftover meatloaf. I wasn't really feeling the fish. And I guess that's all that's going on. Uh, I'm still a big baby. This hurts. A little tiny bruise. And let's see, you see a little shading. See a little difference in tone. Oh, look, that's where they killed Ouch. your mane. Yeah. Oh, look, that is where it they, looks they killed like my mane. They killed it. It's Feels like they dead, killed it. But... Ew. Brian, don't look at my arm anymore. So anyway, <laughs> I didn't like it. So I think they're going to take blood and do a blood draw before my next appointment. Test me. And I think I'm going back on if the insurance approves it. I don't know if it will or not. Maybe he'll just be like, you don't need chemo pills anymore. Your system is super groovy. And pa -da! You know, when they try to take my blood there, it never works either. That high spot. Well, they had to take the blood up there because they were going to be 
flushing all the contrast in. So it had to work both ways. He said, I could get blood out of this, but then I could smell, taste the saline where he was trying to cram it through, but he said it was stuck on a, um, a valve, and so he was moving the needle around the catheter to try and find a oh, spot where there was no enough. valve so that the saline could flow, so the contrast could flow. So anyway, uh, we called in a nurse, and a um, little brown girl, I'm just going to say, all my experiences with getting poked with needles have gone best when it's been a little brown women. It's actually true. But um, thank you for all the blonde nurses in the world, too. I appreciate you as well. And I guess that's it. Update, update. Boo, boo, ba-doo. Boo, boo, boo. Love.